Hey, Rich Risto here. I like to wander around, and today we're going to talk about what is in this box. Now, do not believe the packaging. It says Magic the Gathering, Zendikar Rising, pre-release packs. That's not what is in this box. Um, basically, this is something that I ordered, obviously, from a Magic the Gathering card shop. Now, for some of you watching, you may go, wait, wait, Magic the Gathering is in China? Yes, it is. Now, it may not be, it may be growing, but as you can see by this shiny planeswalker here, that, yes, Magic is bought and sold and played in China. Now, some people might go, oh, but what about counterfeiting? It's China, after all. You know, is this foil real? Well, if you're buying Magic the Gathering cards in China, you're more than likely buying from a licensed shop. And so the same rules of authenticity still apply. You know, you still have the authentic shrink wrapping with the foil markings on it. And trust me, if these shops got caught um, dealing in fakes, Wizards of the Coast would likely um, remove or take away their license to hold events, you know, um, be, take part in like officially sanctioned tournaments and all of that. So with that being said, if this is not pre-release packs, what is in the box? Well, let's open it and find out. And to that end, I am going to get my murder weapon, whom I call Stabatha, and let's open this thing. So, rip. should be very, very careful. Now, this is going to be anticlimactic, and I'll explain in a moment. Okay, so we have the box open. Yeah, we all do that. Okay, so the first anticlimactic thing in this box is a red binder. Um, I wanted black. The store was out of black. And I'm, I have so many cards now that I need to start actually organizing my binders instead of just throwing cards into binders willy-nilly. So red binder means I'm going to be putting red rares and mythics into it. Okay, so we have more packing. Yeah, as I said, who never does that? Okay. So here's the thing. I ordered five booster packs from Zendikar Rising. I'm not going to open these now. I'm going to save these and open these later in a location that is much more sexier than my out-of-print books and Mao Zedong's mug. All right, so this. Um, like... Like um, shops in America, my friend in Nanjing, um, that's where I ordered from, sells singles. Um, and so whenever I need cards, like because I decided I had fought making commander decks for a while. All my friends in Chengdu, I think I just made too many asshole modern or standard decks and they abandoned 60 card Decks for Commander. Okay, so what did I order? Well, before I get into that, let me explain something. I'm not the guy that's going to spend a fortune on one card. I initially, so I ordered two singles um, because I'm making Commander decks. And this right here, Locust, the, the Locust God. Um... Flying, whenever you draw a card, 
create a 1-1 blue in red insect creature with flying. So I figured um, I've made a draw deck before. And so if I'm going to wade into commander, I know draw decks. This is a perfect commander for that. And again, this only cost me 20 RMB. So let's put that to one side. The other card I ordered, again, fairly cheap, was this card here. Um, I think it's from one of the Ravnica's. But okay, so let's look at the text here. Release five, um, response deals five damage to target attacking or blocking creature for two mana. That's pretty good. It's a split card, and I'm more interested in this. Creatures you control gain first strike and vigilance to end of turn. After this main phase, there is an additional combat phase followed by an additional main phase. So the reason why I bought this card was pre precisely this. Well, if I'm waiting into Commander, um, I decided I'm, all at the same time I'm going to try and build four different Commander decks. So this fits into a different Commander that I have. And again, one that I just couldn't pass up. I had this shiny nice foil laying around, which is come into focus, please. All right. Oh. The war leader, angel, flying, vigilance, haste. Whenever war leader attacks for the first time each turn, untap all creatures you control. After this phase, there is an additional combat phase. So I have other cards like this. So you can imagine these two combo together very well to give you an additional attack phases. So in theory, these two cards together gives you three attack phases in one turn. And this commander deck is going to be angels all flying. It's supposed to be demented and evil. But we'll see. I haven't made the deck yet. My other two commanders, um, this one's going to be a blue, um, blue white, um, if it will come into focus, right? Um, basically what this card does is a flyer and other attacking creatures flying at 1-1. One, one. And more importantly, um, the bottom text basically allows you to switch permanents with other um, with an opposing player. So if this is in a, like let's say a Thopter deck or a deck that's just basically there to spit out tokens, which is kind of what the same dynamic with this card is, um, then what you can do is you're making a 1-1 one, one token, and then if someone has something like a beefy card out, you can um, give them a meaningless thopter and take their good stuff. And my last commander, and these are the four that I'm working on, this is Send Triplets. I got this out of a mystery box that I also bought off of my friend who runs a card shop in Nanjing. Um, and I figured this would just be fun um, because, you know, it makes other players play with their hands exposed and you can play cards from their hands. Anyway, so that is what was in the box. Now... <clears throat> These bad boys, I'm going to find a place other than my dismal desks to open them. So anyway, thank you for watching. Until next time, safe travels.